Hi, my name's Steven from the Electronics Blog, and tonight I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to remove surface mount components like these chips here with just a simple heat gun. I bought this for 25 bucks off of Amazon. It works great, it has plenty of power. And uh, here we go. So, what you first want to do is you want to heat up the entire board. Now, this can get very hot, so you have to be careful not to burn the things around it. You want to focus the air mostly on the chip, but keep moving around so you don't fry it. Now this isn't something that you'd want to do in production because you can easily damage the chips by heating them up too much and too fast. What happens is as water fills into the, or as water dissolve, or no, it doesn't dissolve, it gets absorbed into the chips, into the silicon dye, and if you heat it up too fast with the water content in the chip, what happens Alright, give it a test. No, not ready yet. What happens is the expanding water will cause the, cause the silicon chip to to break and ruin your chip. So usually you want to solder these with a specific heat profile, but you don't get that option with a $25 heat gun. You know, just continue heating it up until you feel it's warm enough. Oh, yeah. That's well, warm enough. And see, it just pops right off. Alright, that was just on low heat, so you can see the hope is not to disturb any of the components around it, but yeah, you can see, pulled the chip right off, it's still a little warm, and the trick is just not to use too much heat, you want to use the heat gun on the low setting to not damage your parts and not to cause all the little components around it to fall off. This is also good if you want to salvage parts from other PCBs you've pulled out of CD drives and you know all sorts of stuff that you take apart.